Good morning, everyone. My name is Jeremy, and today we are going to be doing a book review. The book that we're going to be talking about today is The Roommate by Derval McTiernan. Now, this I listened to it as an audiobook. The audiobook was fantastic, and I really, really recommend it. It was a very good short book. So, this is part of the Cormac Riley series, and I did not know what to expect from this book. It was a murder mystery story, it was a standalone story, and it was written in the perspective of Nima Turley, who is a teacher and she's a roommate who their roommate isn't, uh, she's not super close to her roommate. Um, so, okay, so story time for me reading this book or listening to this book. Um, I was up really late last night. I just was not able to settle down and I thought to myself I'm just gonna find my audiobooks and I'm gonna turn on one that I haven't listened to. I got this one as a like free book and I had never listened to it and I needed looking for something that was gonna be short that maybe I would be able to listen to and then maybe drift off and fall asleep with. And I didn't know this was a murder mystery. I just kind of picked it almost at random. And I'm so glad that I did, but re listening to this in the middle of the night was maybe the wrong decision. Just because it was so intense. So if you're looking for a fun murder mystery story, I think this is a really good choice. It's super quick, it's a super fast read or listen, and um, I think it was super, super fun. Okay, so going into the story, slight spoilers, but also a little bit of my like story of me listening to it. Nima Turley is a teacher and a roommate, as I said, and she isn't super close to her roommate. Uh, in the middle of the night, there's a knock on her door and an officer's there and asks her if there's been any disturbances, if she noticed anything, and she's like, I don't, I, nothing, I don't know. And they later she finds out that there has been a murder. The ambulance has come and there she's just kind of observing all this go on. The officers return to her and ask her if they know anything about if she knows anything about her roommate when they saw her last and she isn't really close, so doesn't really know like when was the last time that I saw her or things like that. They they talk and they discover that the individual that died, that was killed, was her roommate that she wasn't that close to. So she's shocked, she's really like surprised by this, she has to identify the body, and um, she's going on continuing with her life, and she's having different difficulties and struggles, and one of those things that she's struggling with is financially, so she needs to be able to get another roommate in order to be able to pay for her housing and this person kind of stumbles into her life and they're talking and she uh, needs to have someone come in and live because she doesn't have that addi additional income through having that second roommate so they need to ha she needed to have that replaced with this um that person is the killer and we find this out as she sets up some cameras in her apartment and she's on her bed and she's checking her cameras on her bed and she notices that her new roommate has a knife and crawled under her bed. And I am here in the middle of the night. It's like two o'clock in the morning and I am listening to this on my bed in the dark and I usually don't get like wigged out by stories, but man, that really got me because I'm just laying in my bed. And all of a sudden, I'm like, what if there's someone under my bed with a knife? Like, I you know it really like sucked me in. It was super good and super scary and did not help me sleep on this night where I was struggling to sleep. Um, ultimately, I really enjoyed the story. I think it was super fun. And I think that for people who are looking for a good murder mystery type experience, this was super fun. And I'm excited to maybe discover more of the Cormac Riley series that this is part of the world from that series. 
So this story is a standalone. You don't need to read any other ones in order to get the full experience of this story. So there you have it, guys. There's my little, like, listening to audiobooks late at night story and this book review. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe for more video content like this. Thank you guys so much.